This is our Tree Man's 1975 Kawasaki Z1900. Um, he brought it to us originally. He just wanted to get it running. And then he saw some of the bikes we had laying around and he decided he wanted to make it really, really nice. We believe this is the actual mileage. Um, as you can see, he's kind of painted it up. Uh, original seat. Uh, kind of rusty. Open Kirker header. Uh, we originally rebuilt a set of carburetors for him. And then he, then he brought the bike to us. He says, let's just get it running. So he, I think he wants to go a lot further with it. So we're going to do a ground up job on this as we've done in the past. Notice he's got the brake caliper on the wrong side. They kind of reverse these legs over. Uh, the fender's on backwards. Got the ghost or whatever right there. Uh, the meters are gooned. Uh, but we're going to take it down to the bare cases and uh, try to do a good job on it for him and see how he likes it. Uh, hopefully so we'll get this done in about a month or so. Got a few things that are bent up. Going to have to replace a lot of chrome on it. Polish out some aluminum. But outside of that, it's, it's it's not bad. It, the, the frame is really nice on this bike. Um, everything looks pretty good. So we'll, we'll definitely keep you posted on our, our process. We're going to make wheels for it. We're going to powder coat all the parts. The frame is absolutely gorgeous though. Nice frame. Original paint on the frame. So this will be a good one to start on. No broken fins on the motor. So we'll, we'll stay in touch with you. We'll let you know where we're at and uh, the process will begin today. This is tree band stuff. Uh, we've pulled it apart today. And what we've got going on here is we've got the cylinder. We've got the uh, rear brake hub looks all good. We're gonna get all the stuff polished here. And we're gonna get this stuff uh, cleaned up at uh, Ed's. You can see where uh, someone's had this all gooped up and all that. This is a this is a uh, aftermarket cover. We're gonna replace it with uh, a stock one, and they got it all gooped up. And then uh, this stuff here is all pretty nice. This at one time had a warning sticker here, so we're gonna put a warning sticker on here. Get this all polished out again. Front chain cover. This is all the correct stuff here. Correct lettering here. Everything looks pretty good. Uh, we're going to powder coat the motor mounts. Uh, the side stands, uh, someone cut it down to lower the bike. I don't think we're going to reuse this. See how it's been welded right here. And uh, the rest of the stuff's not bad. Um, I'm going to kind of look into it. The gauge covers aren't too bad. It goes on the bottom. Uh, we get these all powder coated and gloss. Uh, not bad. We'll see how they turn out. Tool tray. Uh, there's a header. I think we're going to put a different pipe on it. Looks like someone's already changed the color of the upper triple clamp. We've already got the wheel broken down. Um, we're going to lace up new wheels to it. Probably going to go uh, Buchanan stainless steel. We get the powder, we're going to get the frame powder coated. Actually, he has really nice fork legs. The, we're going to clean up the tubes as best we can, but they're pitted. We're probably going to replace the tubes, I think. Replace the tubes. Because once they start pitting here, that's no good. Um, for an everyday rider, it's okay to have the pitting here, but you don't want pitting down in here because it'll tear the seal up and stuff. So we're going to go a little different route there. And we're going to change the tires. Uh, 
we're going to put uh, more modern tires on it. We're going to relace that wheel. That's all the nice correct stuff. And uh, we're getting ready to send the body parts out to get painted now. So as we progress, we'll, we'll stay in touch here with you and see what's happening. Okay, uh, we're redoing a 1975 Z1. We started with a bike that was kind of poor shape. You can see the shocks we took off of it. You can see the fork covers we took off of it, never to be cleaned up nice again. And just like the steering stem bolt. I mean, this is just the rough condition, the stuff that was in uh, fork boots, etc. Um, what we're doing is this is for a customer. We had the frame powder coated. The customer is a little on the short side, so we don't know what we're doing yet with uh, shocks. We're kind of fooling around here. Um, we're going to possibly put some shorter shocks on it. He wants a four and one exhaust. But anyway, here we have a frame was powder coated at Ace Powder Coating. We had the swing arm bolt replated here. Swing arm caps right here replated. A new nipple grease fitting. And then we had the upper triple clamp powder coated. Now here's our the kit that we make here at Johnny's. Uh, you got the washer. Uh, this is genuine piece right here. But we made this the big washer and the bolt. And if you and it goes right here. Fits right in there just like that. And actually the triple clamp, it goes right here. Inside the triple clamp is what holds it to here. Okay. If you look at the difference, just, just to uh, show you uh, why we like to make all this stuff, I guess you could call this like a before and after shot. A little difference there. So we have, uh, we have our nice reproduction boots here that for the forks. We had these polished out. They're uh, like a, a kind of a dull finish, but that's pretty much how they came and now if we come over here you can see where we've had the uh, engine cases this is the uh, aqua vapor blast thing done to them does a really good job um, it this is kind of our choice over the the bead blast thing and here's our fork lower legs here for the, the caps for the lower legs. Now we're gonna, on this motorcycle, this belongs to our customer, we are going to fix the cylinder head. Um, as you can see, it's got a larger stud here. We make these studs. This, this is some kind of something somebody put in there, it's larger. So it, it needs a six millimeter stud. And we make these here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this out and we're gonna weld this shut a little bit then re-drill it. And then we're gonna put our own studs in there and make sure they're all perfect. And you can see some of them are starting to come out here a little bit. And, but we're gonna, we're gonna tighten this up. This is actually a nice head. I don't see any broken fins, no explosions in a combustion chamber. And this is nice. And a lot of times we do the Z1s, these threads here where the intake manifolds go are gooned out. And this is, this is nice. This is a nice, nice start here. So we're going to we'll show you the progress on this. This is for a, a pretty good customer of ours. And we're going to we'll show you the progress as we go. And I believe we're going to have it painted blue, 75 blue. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in, and we'll stay in touch with you. This is a 75Z1 that we're restoring. Well, it's actually kind of custom, where we're doing it for our buddy. His name is Tree Man. And I'll take you through the front wheel and just kind of show you where we're going with it. Uh, for starters, we replaced the spokes with uh, replica spokes. 
the rims are reproduction rims made by DID. We lace and true all these wheels here at the shop. Uh, we have Avon tires on it. As you can see on the hubcap here, we kind of polished it up pretty much like chrome. These are, uh, the lower fork legs are kind of like a, a ball, ball burnished finish. They're not really shiny. These are reproduction boots that we sell here. And we put some really, really good used fenders on it. If you notice up at the front headstock of the frame, we replaced the sticker here. We have a, a guy in the United Kingdom that reproduces these. At the handlebar area, this is the clutch lever assembly. We make this adjuster here. This is made here in the States. See how it's got the line right here? All pretty nice, nice, nice reproduction parts. If you go to here, we, we put really good used genuine parts like nice uh, fork ears. We had these caps polished, which is pretty nice. We rebuilt the caliper for the brakes. Um, we did the, cleaned up the brake rotor and stuff. If you look at the lock tabs on the front disc rotor, we make those. And uh, the bolts are replated bolts. If you come here towards the center of the motorcycle, you're gonna see uh, Dyna ignition. So this has a Dyna lower unit on it along with Dyna top coils. All the black is stuff that we had done at Ace Powder Coating. This is a, Johnny's makes this bolt right here with the washer. We make these bolts right here. And if you look at the motor, you can see a, a gorgeous finish. This is a aqua blasting, vapor blasting com combined by Ace Powder Coating. And then we had the, the engine covers polished out. The uh, side stand, now our buddy Tree Man, he's kind of a shorter. If you notice that the side stand is just a little bit shorter. So we had that powder coated. Then if you come towards the back of the motorcycle, we put some shorter shocks on the back. He wants to be able to touch it on the ground. So this is a, it's close to a restoration, but it's kind of a semi-custom also because of the, the shocks, the side stands. And we did modify the front end a little bit. It's got shorter springs on it. So it uh, sits a little bit lower and we, and we raise the fork tubes up into the clamps pretty much as high as it would go. Because if you look up front here, the, the upper triple, upper fork here coming out of the upper triple clamp will run into the handlebars and those handlebars are replica handlebars that we make here at the shop or that we import from Japan we sell them here at the shop and if we come to this side of the motorcycle you can see just how close that rear fender and the rear wheel really are um, we laced up the rear wheel we have a uh, polished rear backing plate. All the hardware has been replated, such as the brake arm, the brake rod. I mean, it's all genuine stuff replated. If you come up here, we make these, these nuts right here with the cap washers. This is all stuff here from Johnny's. If you go up here to the battery tray area, we had all this powder coated. We polished out the oil fill plug and we polished out all these covers and underneath here we have the Dyna ignition. We anticipate having this motorcycle done probably another couple weeks as we're having the body parts painted right now. And I think that this is going to be a nice everyday rider. He's going to put individual k and air filters on it and he wants a Kirker header. It's, he's kind of building a period hot rod that they had back in the 70s so we'll keep you posted on this one and uh we'll let, we'll see what the outcome is and th this is uh for tree man and i hope you show this to all your buddies and thanks for coming in and
We'll keep in touch with you. Thanks. Hey, Tree Man. Uh, we got your bike ready to start. Let's take a look at everything. Here's your new seat, battery, underneath the frame. Looking good. Looking real good. Uh, got your K and filters on. Got your turn signals on. This is all genuine stuff that we just cleaned up and put on it. Tell how low that bike is. Here's your custom chain guard. We couldn't use the chain guard, the stock chain guard, because the ch stock chain guard would run into the shocks. So Hilo made this bracket right here. This is actually pretty cool. Um, new chain. I don't know where we were exactly, but there's the motor all done. Everything looks pretty good. Uh, let's fire it up and see what happens here. That's good. to come back uh, we should if everything it comes together we'll have it done in about a week or so we're just waiting on parts so take a look see what you think uh, give us some ideas where you want to go all right we'll talk to you okay tree man almost done with the motorcycle uh, the paint's done uh, got it all basically all together. I don't know. Uh, we have not a chance to ride it because uh, you know, we got issues with the weather and stuff. You know, I didn't want to take it out in the salt. But uh, it looks pretty good. I just wanted to show you that it's done, or, or it's getting close to being done. We want to test it and put some miles on stuff before we uh, tell you it is done. But there's what it looks like with the paint and everything. I kind of like it. Looks really good. Uh, I can't say enough about it. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, we just haven't had a chance to finish it up yet, but it's almost done. And uh, we'll see if we can get her fired up and uh, we we'll kind of go from there. Here's your starting procedure. I'm going to put it on reserve right here. The middle is reserve. It says off and reserve. I like to run them on reserve. The bike is cold. I'm gonna choke it. Full choke, no gas.
Uh, we're going to put some time on it see if it's got any bugs. Uh, we've got a few more things to do to it, but uh, that's the initial run, and it, I like it. Okay. This is our lowering process. Uh, we really couldn't buy anything for the bike. However, uh, we put these Mulholland shocks on it that we had. Uh, these a little bit shorter. And then we raised the fork tubes up a little bit. We uh, cut the springs down and raised the uh, fork tubes up a little bit. So it's kind of where she's riding right now. Um, seems like it handles her well. It's got to be another two inches lower to the ground. Also, because uh, the bike is sitting so low, the frame is down lower. We put a shorter side stand on it, as you can see right here. It's about probably inch and a half, two inches shorter, just guessing. And then because we put the special shocks on, we made this, swing, this uh, chain guard fit it. And I got dirt on it from driving it up down a road here, and it kind of bums me out. There's a little film here that's kind of bumming me out. But anyway, because uh, normally on a Z1, I can't touch flat-footed. Where this one... This one's pretty cool. I like the height. I think Kawasaki should offer lower kits when they built these. They probably could have sold more of them. Not that they didn't sell enough for as it was. So uh, we'll just uh, give us a couple more days. Or wait for our dealer tag stickers to come any minute now. So uh, we can have plates that are legit. We'll go out and ride it and we'll tell you what we think. And I'd like to put some miles on it if I could. So we'll go from there. All right, Tree Man. See ya. Okay, Tree Man. Uh, this is uh, how I recommend starting a motorcycle. This is off. This is reserve. This is on. I like to start them on reserve. So give give me a little time to get the flow going. Choke is up is on. So if you come right here, you can see that. If you go to the other side of the motorcycle. You'll see what's happening here. As I move the choke lever, we can see the rod go up and down. As down is off, up is on. Okay, we're gonna leave it on. With no gas, the bike is cold.
together, sometimes they don't. It's a good practice to do this. Thank you.